Oh my gosh, look at it guys. Oh my gosh. Oh. Hey guys, welcome to my daily vlogs. Please subscribe. What's up my boy squad? How are you doing? Did you sleep well? Guys, today is an awesome day. I've been waiting so long for this day. One of our very first vlogs, not on this channel, back when we had the daily vlogs, well, our other comedy channel, one of our very first vlogs was going to this awesome animal pet expo in Manila. And guys, I've been wanting to go back, but I keep missing it year after year. But finally, I was notified of this same pet expo happening this year. So we're going there now. I've been waiting so long to go. And I can't wait to see what's there, guys. Can't wait to take you to Mabu High Squad. Ooh. Yay, we're here, guys. Ooh, I'm so excited. All right, guys. So apparently today there are two events. One featuring the International Farmer Summit. So here we can find all kinds of awesome things farmers need like cow breeders, goat breeders, chicken breeders, all of that. Um, and then there's also an International Pet Summit, which is um, also taking place here in the same building at the same time. So this is gonna be so cool, guys. Guys, let's buy a, a carabao, huh? What do you guys think? Ooh, guys, look at the magazine, all right. Farmer's Digest. Guys, we are totally in the right place. All right, guys, we get these cool name tags. My bae is going to put it on me. All right, sweet. All right, guys, let's go. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. <gasps> Step on foot bath. Oh, cool. Antimicrobial, we need this. Oh my, interesting. Oh, feeds, good quality feeds. Oh my gosh, guys, we don't know where to begin. <laughs> wow, guys, some of these companies pay a lot for these displays. These are international brands. Oh, wow. And local, yeah. Oh my, like, look at these displays. Amazing. Oh, there are presentations. Apparently, guys, there's a parrot presentation happening at 10 a.m. I can't wait. That's why we came early. Oh, there. Yeah. Some good quality dog food. Lamb, salmon, poultry. Ooh. Oh, guys, look at all this chicken feed. <gasps> so if we have chickens, I don't think we're going to get feed. We're just going to feed it like grass and like bugs and veggie, anything. But I don't think we're going to put our chickens on feed. Wow, guys, this whole section is dedicated to really farming products. Like, it's all, you know, pig farming. We saw a shrimp farming section, like display shrimp farming see pest control right there Ooh, like food feed okay guys finally animals here we go rj are we getting a peacock look at that we have a pea fowl here peacock and a pea hen it's not a lot of space for them oh there's is that a duck or geese those are geese right geese ducks okay wait let's go see omg what a beautiful rooster hi there Hi there, buddy. Don't worry, I won't. I won't touch you. Careful. It's beautiful. Look at its feathers. More chickens. Awesome. In terms of chickens, we want eggling chickens. I heard barred rocks are good. All you chicken experts out there, what are some really good egg egg-laying chickens? Rhode Island for my and Rhode Island. Mo more for meat. Meat. Pang food. No. Ah, okay. Egg and meat. Egg and meat. Okay, what's that called? Susek. Uh, Susek. Susek. Wow. Oh my gosh, more chickens are arriving, guys. He says these ones are good for meat and for eggs. <laughs> They're cute. Oh, that reminds me of Hope. Hope. Guys, we used to have a chicken, but then she died because she was a meat chicken and they don't live so long, apparently. RJ definitely wants these. Are these silkies? RJ wants silkies. Hi guys, you're so cute. I really want chickens, but I need to like somehow get our dogs used to chickens because the prey drive, particularly on Sahara and our Mexican hairless Brittany is pretty strong. So are these silkies? Oh yeah, they are silkies. All right. They're so cute. Oh, these are the chickens that I used to have in Canada. So it's apparently against the law to keep chickens in the city. But that didn't stop me from, <laughs> from having chickens. 
and I had a hen once and she was this color. RJ wants something like this, a giant chicken. It's like a giraffe chicken. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's what I love. You like it? I wish we could get chickens now. Well, technically we could, we just don't have a place to house it. Yeah. Wow, guys, so this is the man who supplies these giants. They're imported from Brazil. Wow. Now we know who to get our chickens from. Let's collect all the different kinds. It's so long. The legs. As of now, I think uh, he's 95 centimeter. 95 centimeters uh, tall? Oh my gosh, yeah. that's this big. Yeah. Uh, that's a big chicken, guys. Nine months old. And he's only nine months old. Yeah. Wow. Interesting. So chickens fall under the category where we don't need like a permit, like a special permit to keep them. Unlike parrots or reptiles and that kind of thing, you need papers for that. But chickens fall under like domestic animals, farm animals, so we don't need papers to keep them. Oh, look at the ducks, babe. Oh, Brahma. Wow. I've seen these on the internet. These are all like awesome breeds. Wow. Geese. I love geese. Oh, bad! look at ducks, mallards. I love these. But say, okay, so we have a fish pond, right? And we also have a freshwater pool. If we release ducks onto our property, what stops them from like flying away? Do you guys know? Or will they fly away? Like, aren't these migratory birds in North America? Well, how would that work? These are also imported, these mallards. I wish they had, I hope we get to see, um, what are the ducks we like, Beh? Mandarin ducks. Yeah, guys, mandarin ducks look beautiful. Oh my gosh, look at that one. Artists like, these are so cute. I know. They are cute. Look at their little hairdos. White, white mandarin chicken. What are they called? White mar. No, this is incorrect. No. These aren't chickens, these are ducks. Uh, wait, wait, German? No. <laughs> wait, the label is wrong. <laughs> these are not chickens. Okay, wait, we need to find out what these are, guys. That's funny, it looks like they're wearing a wig. Cotton. Yeah, it looks like they're wearing cotton balls on their heads. Guys, they look so funny. That is so hilarious. I love these. I even love those geese on the other side. So gorgeous. So RJ, you like these ducks? Yeah. He's like, in case we get ducks, I want unique. Okay, but these are normal. These are unique. Okay. What are they called? Yeah. A what? Crested. Rested? Crested. Tr oh, crested duck. Yeah, we have to Google. I bet it's crested duck. Guys, we have a friend here. What's your name? Uh, Jojen. Uh, hello, guys. Oh, awesome. Jojen. Because we're Filipino, we're taking pictures. <laughs> yes. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you could correct crested. Oh, it is. Guys, it is called a crested duck. Okay. Interesting. Crested ducks. I didn't know they existed. They're from Netherlands. Oh, you guys are from Netherlands? Awesome. Oh, uh, they're kind of scared. Interesting, guys. Swine kits. Swine flu kits for de for detection. Yes. Sir. Guys, we have a friend here. What's your name? Faith. Faith. And because we're Filipino, we're taking pictures. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Time. What's your name? I'm Kate from the pet shop that PH. Because we're Filipino, we're taking pictures. <laughs> Thank you. Nice RJ likes these chickens. Which one? These ones? Like Hope. Oh, the white and black one. Yeah, look at that, guys. The white and black ones look awesome. Yeah, you can get all kinds of chickens. Hi there. Of course. What's your name? Don. All right. Because we're Filipino, we're taking pictures. <laughs> Thank All right, you. thank you guys. Enjoy. Oh my gosh, guys, these are this is a very famous group called Majestic Wings Philippines. They're a group of parrot owners. Awesome. Hello. Ooh, I see um, that's an umbrella cockatoo and a scarlet macaw down there. Guys, I love umbrella cockatoos. They're so cute. Maybe one day we'll have one. Oh my gosh, look at the bunnies. These are big. This is a big bunny. I wonder if they have Flemish giants. Ooh, and there's bunny fur. I guess they're selling the bunnies, but you can eat them or you can keep them as pets. And Tita Sonia says their poo makes great fertilizer. Oh my gosh, guys, there's the reptile section. I need to finish off this section before we go there because that's gonna be crazy. Yeah, guys, like all of these, a lot of these products, like for feeds, vitamins, um, they're mostly geared for big farms that are, you know, um, 
producing like m lots of meat you know hundreds of chickens and stuff hundreds of goats because you know they're not really pets like they would be for RJ and I so I mean as a chicken farmer for example you don't have time to make vegetable and fruit chop <laughs> for your chickens right um, so yeah I could see why feeds would be a good option for those kind of farmers and it does seem like it's very science involved guys like deep science and all of these like products okay guys here we are reptile x here we go this is their fifth year awesome oh there's so much here we go we got river cooter turtles we got all kinds of reticulated python here are these all retics oh no there's a ball python ball python we have iguanas I've been thinking of releasing an iguana into the aviary at around this size. I believe if I decorate it well, the parrots would leave the iguana away. And guys, like iguanas are fast. It could run away if ever a parrot was chastising it. I wonder like, if the parrots and the iguana grew up together, if they would just learn to coexist. I wonder because you know like parrots can get used to other species being around like other dogs I remember when we had Ligaya she was fascinated by our dog Cypher but she never attacked Cypher so I don't know and these iguanas are exclusively vegetarian so they wouldn't be preying on the parrots I wonder guys oh wow look at these baby caiman spectacled caiman so like these are like tiny they are so small right now but guys don't get mistaken they can grow up to like six feet long guys rj came to me he's like there's a buy one take one silky okay we'll check the chickens again after guys we have a fellow maboy squad member here what's your name i'm Chris. Chris. because we're filipino we're taking pictures yes Baby sulcata tortoises, so cute. Getting them at this size is kind of risky because, you know, the death rate is higher for like young tortoises, but once they're a good size, they're pretty hardy. We definitely will get a tortoise one day. RJ wants an Aldabra tortoise. I wonder if we'll see any Aldabra tortoises here. We've got a red-footed tortoise. This was my dream tortoise as a kid. Florida red-bellied turtle. Wow. Cute. I'll definitely release some turtles in our uh, in our fish pond. We got society finches, diamond doves. Oh, goldian finch. I wonder if they're selling. I wonder if they're selling goldian finches. See, I wanted goldian finches, but it was hard to find people who sell them with papers. Aren't they gorgeous? Oh, wow, guys. We've got like champion chickens here. They're still young. Oh, we got champion line of chickens here, guys. Like good bloodline. Oh, cute guinea pigs. Oh, hi guys. So cute. I love guinea pigs. I've never owned guinea pigs. These are one of the few pets I've never owned. Are you kidding me? Thirty thousand pesos for this pigeon? Why? Oh, it's a champion. Oh, for pigeon racing or whatever. Homing pigeon. It's sleeping. What color now? Oh, I know. It's cute. Guys, pigeons are underrated. I love pigeons. RJ's tripping out at the purple. Your, your, your favorite color, purple. <laughs> yeah, actually, pigeons are beautiful. If you really look at them, see? They're iridescent. But they're expensive. How much is this? 30,000. 30,000? Oh, these pigeons are fighting. <laughs> look at this guinea pig. Where is that? Is it these? Hi, guys. Oh, you're so cute. Oh my gosh, marmoset? set? Are marmoset sets for sale? Cute! Is that your spoke? Oh, they're selling it. Buy one, take one free. RJ, are you thinking of buying one, taking one for free? Are you selling marmoset? set? Yes. Oh, with papers? Oh, with papers? Oh my gosh, RJ! Okay. We're legally allowed to keep those? Yes. Oh my. Oh my. Okay, maybe we'll just not keep birds in the aviary. Let's just keep a bunch of marmosets. Oh. Newly weaned. Newly weaned. Oh. So it's eating solids now. Oh my goodness. This was my dream as a kid. Wow, guys, these are in danger. They're basically, marmosets are like small primates. I, I don't know if they, they're 
in the monkey category, but they are small, like monkeys, pretty much. And they breed them, and they're endangered, but they're being bred in captivity to keep their numbers alive. Oh, wow. They bought them from South America. Yeah, they're South American. Guys, this is the hamster group. Tons of little hamsters. Oh, so cute. So cute. What kind of hamster is that, teddy bear? Syrian teddy bear. Wow. Love the color. This is awesome. Look at the dwarf hamsters there. They're so cute. Oh my gosh, look at the rats. I love them. Hi there. We have friends here. I love your rats. Look at the rats. Oh, this rat has babies. Hi there. Look at the little the rat pups. I used to feed you to lizards. <laughs> here you go. They're so cute, guys. Rats make awesome pets. Oh my god, look at these Madagascar hissing cockroaches. These also make good pets too. <laughs> my ants love these. And then you got dubia roaches right here. And then we have lats right here. Super worms. Oh, guys, feeders. Oh, cute. Look at all of these books. We got toys. T-shirts. I love the shirts. Okay, guys, we're taking pictures. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Is this your stand? Yes. Sir. What is it? Philippine Hamster Owner Society. Oh, uh, you guys are the Hamster Owner Society. Yes. How many hamsters do you own? Ah, uh, almost 100. You own over 100? 100 hamsters? Wow. That's a that's a crazy. So what do you feed them? Pellets or? Pellets, food mix. We have a food mix. Oh, there's a mix. Okay, interesting. They but they wake up at night or uh, no? Ah uh, yes yes yes. They're nocturnal. Robert ah. oh, so hamster, cute. fastest animals. Fastest animals? Hamsters. Oh, can I see? They're dwarf hamsters, the Yes. Oh, they are so cute. Wow. How long do they live? Oh, two to three years. It's it's like rats. Yes. Guys, we're meeting all kinds of friends here. We're all a community. Okay, wait, I want you guys to meet this guy. What's Hi, your name? Hi, I'm Eman from Reptile Sky. Yes, and guys, he makes terrariums. He made that. So you make even the setup, yes, like the housing? The setup and the housing. This one's made from hardwood, actually. Wow, hardwood. And it's got all the, like, controls already yeah. oh amazing and you even installed a thermostat Thermal hygrometer. and hygrometer wow isn't that beautiful guys what you have the dream job that was my dream job as a teen like pay me to make terrariums for you oh my goodness this is awesome and these are real plants too oh it's bioactive so you have isopods in there too oh probably digging around awesome guys this is amazing. I love your backdrop. You. you make that too? Yes. <laughs> oh, you, you do everything. You yeah. find the driftwood, everything. That is awesome. Oh, look, including side ventilation. Wow, guys. What's your company? Uh, it's Reptile Sky. Reptile Sky. Guys, follow them on social media. Maybe we could work together one yes. day. Yeah, he says he loves our terrariums. What, for Ants Canada, you mean? Yes. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Guys, he also owns a furniture company. That's why you know how to make this. Okay, we're for sure gonna work with him for the ant room. Oh, this is so neat. Yeah, RJ is saying this is good quality. It's real wood, guys. Like, remember all the work that goes into our doors? He does this, but for his tanks. Oh, I'm amazed. All right, guys, we're here at ZooMed. A very popular reptile product and line. We buy so many ZooMed products, guys. Um, for ants, they have a huge line of terrariums. You know, and you know, over the years, like back when I first had my first lizard, way back in the 90s, they never had all of this stuff. We never had, like ZooMed existed, but not all of these products. Like look, look at these specialized tanks of different dimensions that perfectly suit specific like species of lizards and frogs. Tortoise cage, right? They never used to have this, but now they have all kinds of products. Ever since the hobby like got bigger, it's just awesome. See, tortoises need like all kinds of veggies and grasses, especially super packed with micronutrients and all, all the things tortoises need. But like, let's say you live in the city and you don't have access to like tall grass and hay. Like this is a good solution. I love that. You got reptic calcium. See, 
You got cork bark. Awesome. Naturalistic food bowls. See, for your reptiles. This is built for the corner of the tank. You can place it in a corner. I just love it. Love it so much. I'm thinking I'll feed the birds in like bowls like this so it looks natural cute look at this water fountain and this like baby iguana which is like yellow high yellow see and back in the 90s we never had crazy colors like this for iguanas they they had them but they were super rare but now i see them everywhere the hobby has really really evolved guys we have some friends here and they happen to be ac family oh, hi guys Amps, Canada. thank you thank you <laughs> Because we're Filipino, we're taking pictures. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much. Oh, no problem. My One, pleasure. Two, yes. Guys, we keep meeting so many friends. Yes, the, the great Mikey Bustos. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Bye, guys. Mikey. Enjoy the enjoy the expo. A common snapping turtle. Oh, we've seen this before. This is a red tegu, Argentinian tegu. Guys, look at all of the reptiles for sale. We've got different color phases of ball pythons here. Awesome. Just awesome. Wow, look at this one. It's called an OG Pastel Pied. Snakes are so low maintenance pets, guys. They are like so easy to keep. They eat once a week. You can feed them less. Um, they poo once a week. And they're just chill. More terrariums. This is awesome. Oh, cute. More little turtles. I love it little terrarium decor okay so this is pretty cool <laughs> rj finds it creepy so let's say your pet dies you can this this company is called paternity and you can taxidermy your pet this here is an aldabra right aldabra tortoise wow this here is a peacock we got a pineapple um green cheek conure a little hedgehog Oh, a baby dog, and they posted it on this bike. <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean to laugh. Um, we've got a parrot here and another dog. So our vet, when Legaya died, our African gray parrot, our vet offered this. And RJ was like, no, let's not do it. It's kind of weird. But some people would like to make their pets, you know, taxidermied. So it's like they're around forever. I understand that. Like this is beautiful, this peacock decor. It's actually beautiful. Hi, Tita. Hello, Tita is my name. Yes, hello. We're taking pictures, guys. <laughs> Are you buying any animals today? Uh, bird. <laughs> bird? What kind of bird? Finches. Finches. Oh, nice. What, Goldian Finch? Uh, Society. Zebra Finch. Zebra Finch. Awesome. We've got more pigeon displays here, exhibits. Oh, these are cute leopard geckos. So these guys are from like the Middle East, Mediterranean, I think. And they come in all kinds of colors. Look at it. I can hold it? Yeah, sure. Oh my God, guys. Hold it there or you can put it here. Oh my gosh, cool. I'm a slave <laughs> for you. Hi guys, this is my new friend here. It's a ball python. What's the color Double. face called? Uh, this one is uh, bumblebee. Bumblebee. Oh, I love it. Yeah, this is called bumblebee color face. It looks like a bumblebee. See guys, it's like a... It's so cute. Oh, and it's, it's not slimy. For those of you who have never had snakes before, it's not slimy. It's like yeah. leatherish and cool to touch and smooth. And look at that cute little face, guys. Look at that cute face. Isn't that cute? Gosh, I love the color. Guys, they are exotic empire. So they, they breed leopard geckos and ball? Yes. Leopard geckos and ball pythons. Oh, RJ, there's a sugar glider. Oh, cute. It's a male or female? It's a male, deba, right? Because they have a bald patch on the... I used to have two. RJ really wants a sugar glider. Oh my gosh, are you going to hold it? Oh my gosh, RJ, hold it. Give me my coffee. RJ's always wanted one, but they're nocturnal, so I don't think they would be a good pet for RJ because RJ's in bed by like 11. And they require a lot of socialization, but they do bond. They're cute, right? They are cute. Especially if you're a night owl, they're a good pet. And they're omnivorous. They eat all kinds of food. Oh boy. 
you wanna come with me? Uh oh. Um, and they can bond with their humans so well. Like, it'll sleep in your pocket, but it'll also pee and poo on you if you're okay with that. And um, they're kind of like flying squirrels. They have this membrane that allows them to glide through the air. Oh, I can hold it too? Oh man, I haven't held a sugar glider in years. Oh, it's got a nice cinnamon color. It's like cinnamon, because like, they also come in gray. Hi there. You're so cute. They eat insects. You can feed them um, superworms and crickets. Um, they eat fruits. Oh, there you go. Thank you so much. I used to create this thing, an online recipe called BML, which was invented by a good friend of mine named Bourbon. I was so into sugar gliders, I even went to a sugar glider convention in Arkansas. Look at this. Oh my gosh, guys, look at this. Carnivorous plants. Oh, guys, look. Is this Nepenthes or no? This is a different genus, right? Saracenia. Oh, Saracenia, but it is a pitcher plant, yes. This is Nepenthes. Nepenthes black hybrid. Oh, wow. Yes. Another pitcher plant. See, so like the idea of pitcher plants is the insects like get trapped inside these pitcher parts. Yes. And they're like hairs that point down that make it slippery and hard for them to come out. Oh, sweet. Oh, and we have Venus flytraps. Sweet. How awesome. And then this is? Um, these are Droseras or Sundews. Oh, Sundews, I see. Ah, yeah, I see it, yeah. Sundews, they got these like sticky like jelly things that like stick to insects that pass by. How neat. It's amazing that plants have evolved this way to extract nitrogen. What are these? Oh, I see. So insects get stuck to their leaves too. Same as sundew. Okay, so these plants also have gel, jelly balls at the ends of their leaves. Insects get stuck. So these plants have adapted a way of getting nitrogen, as I was saying before, in habitats that are low in nitrogen. So they get their nitrogen from insects, like literally digesting insects. How neat. And in fact, if you try growing them in nutrient-rich soil, they'll die. What's your name? Zarina. And what's your company? You sell these, right? Plant Diary, yes. guys. If you want carnivorous plants, be sure to contact Zarina. Guys, there's just so much stuff. It just never ends. Oh, look at the size of that. Is that a... It's a Burmese python, guys. A albino. Hello. Who's our mutual friend? Oh, Chandler's Wildlife. Yes, yes. Oh, he's your friend? Yes. Can I introduce you to my booth? Yeah, sure. So Oh my god. Wow. Wildlife Conservation Organization. Love it. We actually started as a blog. Oh um, wow. Yeah, and I love to talk about misunderstood species. Okay. So we made an organization about it. We saved king cobras. Oh we wow. Saved, uh bayahuacs. Oh all okay. The and we also do snake management certification classes. Oh, okay. We've trained firemen, police. Oh my gosh, men. this is important. Yeah. Because we're moving to a farm and there are cobras there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. And so, do you sell the hooks, the snake? We're, we are about to. We're going to distribute. See. Oh, we definitely need snake hooks on the farm, I think. <laughs> Let me know if you need any help okay. with your farm. Like it's called Wildlife Matters. Oh, Wildlife Matters. Wildlife Matters. Agreed. I yes. like that. Is that your Burmese? Yes, that's my Burmese. We have a bigger one later. Wow. Beautiful. Is it heavy? Yes. It's heavy. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. They're bringing out a big snake. Oh, it's so big. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you people look at me like I'm a little girl. Oh my, oh my, it is so heavy. This is a, this is a shoulder workout. Oh my gosh. It is so big. This is such a massive animal. Wow. Guys, isn't that amazing? Unbelievable, that animal. Our latest attraction at the Wildlife Matters booth is Mr. Askin. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. That is amazing. Thank you so much. Guys, check out Wildlife Matters on social media. I love what they do. It's about education. Oh my, look at that. 
Is this a Cayman? Yes. Spectacled? Wow. And this is not even full grown. This is just like juvenile. Seven years old. Seven years old. They get bigger though, right? Yes. Oh, it's not a juvenile, but it's like still small. Look at it, its eyes. Oh, it's so cute. And what are you feeding it? Rats? Mice? Chicken chicken. Oh, chicken. Okay, so meat. Wow, and they like eat the bones too? Yeah. Everything. Is it once a week you feed or one once a month? That's it? Oh my god, this is even lower maintenance than a snake. <laughs> These things only eat once a month. Wow, it's three kilos. It eats three kilos of meat a month. Guys, he says they eat twice a month, not once a month. Sorry. Look at these ants, guys. Oh, cute. There's a queen. Oh, sweet. I'd like you to meet our friend. She's so cute. What's your name? Bella. Bella. Do you have pets? What kind? Uh, rabbits and chickens. Rabbits and chickens. All right. Because we're Filipino, we're taking pictures. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Guys, Wildlife Matters gave us a shirt. Thanks. Okay, thank you. Guys, there are some roaches I've never seen before. This is a Halloween hisser. Halloween hisser. And this one's laying an uthika. It's laying eggs. Cool. It's finding its egg. There's domino roach. See, because it looks like a domino. Only at DigiPets. Yeah, only at DigiPets. Only at DigiPets. Okay, they, they sell fancy cockroaches like this. Wow, they kind of look like hissers, but not really. The color is different. Wow, amazing. All right. And it's laying eggs. Awesome. So it'll lay this egg and then it'll absorb the egg. These roaches are interesting. So it'll lay this and then it'll go back in its body and then the eggs will hatch in the body and then they'll give birth to them live. It's like they get born twice. Oh my, what is that? That's a civet? Yeah. Oh my god, you sell them too? Yeah. With papers? Yeah. Oh my gosh, guys. Only at Digifest. <laughs> oh my god, Digifest, you guys sell these? I didn't know they could be kept as pets. They can be kept as pets. Do you feed them coffee berries and then eat the poo? <laughs> I get to bottle feed this baby civet. This is awesome. Okay, sure. Do they imprint? Yes. Guys, they imprint so they can become really tame. So for those of you who are new to civets, they're like this weird animal that's kind of like a cat, but it's kind of like a weasel. I don't know, but it's its own group of animal. And they're famous because they're famous for civet coffee. It's like they know how to pick special berries in the coffee tree and someone had the idea of getting their poo and making coffee from the coffee berries in their poo so that's why civets are like famous yep i got it i got it hey there buddy oh oh my gosh oh, it's so oh my gosh look at it guys oh my oh it is so cute! It doesn't really smell either. Oh, you are so... Oh, you can take it. I think it wants... Okay. Guys, they're solitary animals. Oh my gosh, we're just gonna get everything when we move to the bar. everything. It is so cute. Oh. Oh my gosh. Guys, like the Philippines is a, has so many awesome endemic animals. It's actually on our 20 pesos bill. See right there. Awesome. How cool. Guys, visit Digi Pets. Wow, I just asked and their care is basically like a dog or a cat. Although they can't be housebroken. They just poo everywhere. Oh my gosh, guys, look at this thing. Awesome. It's so uh, the leather cannot be uh, laid in the back because the scale has a bone. Oh, it's, a, it's, a it's bony. Oh, wow. That's why salt water only. Uh, I see. Be, uh, He's saying this can't be turned into a leather bag because it's got bony leather skin. Bony scales. Oh my gosh, cute. Look at this skinny pig. It's like a guinea pig with no hair. <laughs> So cute, RJ. Really, I like this. I like their little pen. Yeah, RJ apples. Yeah, it doesn't have hair. It's like it's hairless. That's how they're. Oh, guinea pigs are so cute. Do they make good pets? 
Guinea pigs make good pets. Yeah, very cute. Oh, guys, hamster Philippines and Asu mix. This is their booth. See, that's their skinny pig. <laughs> wow, guys, this is just a never ending adventure. Guys, more reptiles. Look at this Burmese, Burmese. Look at the iguana. Green iguana. It's just chilling. It's so tame. Guys, they're asking me to take a picture here at their booth. Okay, I'll try not to step on this beautiful snake here. Oh my gosh, Argentinian tegu! It's so huge! Oh my! I'm holding so many animals today! Okay, it's about jump shot! <laughs> jump shot! <laughs> Thank you, tag me, okay guys? Love you, part. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm hearing sun conures. We're getting closer to birds. More ball pythons. Awesome! Sweet. Oh, are these emerald tree boas? What what snake is this? Green tree python. Oh, okay. That's cute. This is what we have. Beautiful. Beautiful snake. We have one of these. His name is Valentino. Look, he's so cute. I love beardies. Oh my gosh, look at the color of this one. Dark red bearded dragon. Wow. And a white bearded dragon. I've never seen one before. More leopard geckos. Sweet. Guys, fish. And look at this. See this background? It's lit. I wanted this so badly for my tank back in the day. It's nice. Oh my gosh, there's a presentation. Oh my gosh, I hear macaws or something. And I hear sun conures. Oh, there's the sun conure. Okay, guys, are you listening to this? That's the sound of a macaw. RJ says that's too loud. Our neighbors would complain. There's a blue and gold macaw. There's a scarlet. Wait, is that a macaw? Screeching? What is screeching? Oh my gosh. Oh no, that's the umbrella cockatoo. It's the umbrella cockatoo screeching. Oh my. Do you like that? Can you stand that, RJ? <laughs> are you sure? I'm sure we could get used to it. <laughs> Rick Espiritu from Majestic Wings, Philippines. We were at this booth earlier. Why is she screeching? Is she? She's happy. She's happy. Okay, so it's not like stressed. Oh, this is when they're happy, guys. They stress the 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 different body language. Ah, uh, okay. When they're stressed, it's a different body language. They're screaming because they're happy. See, RJ, they're screaming because they're happy. <laughs> RJ's like, no way, Jose. Do you guys have pets? Yes. 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 Anong klase? African, African lovebirds. African, lovebirds. African, African lovebirds. lovebirds. Parrot owners. Yes. <laughs> All right. So you're used to noise. Yeah. <laughs> because we're Filipino, we're taking pictures. Yes. Oh, I can hold it. Oh my. Wow, that's loud. Okay, our neighbors would for sure complain. What's the umbrella cockatoo's name? Brookie. Brookie? Brookie. Brookie. Guys, this is Brookie. Hi, Brookie. You're my dream bird, but you're just a little noisy. Step up. Good bird. Good bird. Oh, she wants the, she wants the vlogging camera, guys. Oh, these are awesome. Oh my gosh, guys, get to hold this carlet. Oh, you are so beautiful, you. Yes. This is a scarlet macaw. What's its name? Scarlet. Scarlet, boy or girl? Girl. This is a girl, guys. Hi, Scarlet. You are beautiful. I love your color. Yes. Oh. I guess this means you're happy. Are you happy? Hmm? Guys, I hope to one day have scarlet macaws. We'll have to build an aviary for it. I would love to keep this in our home aviary, but I feel like it would destroy our window frames. Maybe, we'll see in the future. Guys, so majestic this animal. Look at the colors. Perfect for Pride Month. <laughs> oh, this is yours too? This is also my dream bird right here. Blue and gold macaw. <gasps> so, oh, it pooed. Is this called a yellow crown? Yellow crown. Yellow crown Amazon. Yellow crown. Does it speak? They sing. Look at the colors, RJ. I would love an Amazon one day. Oh, it does recall? Oh my gosh, guys, this thing's a free flyer. He's gonna do recall. I love it. Thank you. Oh, wow. That is so cool. 
I love it. How long did it take to learn? Um, two to three months. Only? It started uh, four months. Oh, he started at four months old. It took him two to three months. Combination of, Guys, this is his Ru uh, Scarlet Macaw Ruby. Step up. Oh, good girl. Oops. Good girl. Wow, okay, I really want one now. Yeah, we'll definitely watch, guys. He's doing a presentation yeah. later. He's the one. And you're gonna fly the birds around the hall? Uh, yeah, guys, be sure to follow Majestic Wing, the group, the group online on Facebook, Facebook and YouTube. <laughs> guys, we have friends here. What's your name? Cloudy. Awesome. Cloudy. <laughs> and he watches Ants Canada, he says. <laughs> Do you have ants? Do you have ants? No. No. Okay, and we're taking pictures now. All right. Have a nice one. Pictures, guys, with a sugar glider breeder. What's your name? My name is Rashir Gozon. Rashir Gozon. Wow. Look at them. They're so cute. We also have big birds here. Large macaws. Large macaws. You have a hyacinth here? Oh my gosh, there's a hyacinth macaw here. Another dream bird of mine. But look at the. Boy, oh, is this leucistic? This is a mosaic sugar glider. A what? Mosaic. Mosaic sugar yes. glider. There's a bit of black marking. Oh, here I see. Top. It just wants to go in the pouch. Yes, They're yes. sleepy. This is also a mosaic sugar glider. Holy, there's so many sugar gliders here. Oh my gosh, guys, this is crazy. There's just so many animals and pet lovers, and I, my head is gonna explode. Oh, well, what's your captive bred parrot? What's the name of the company? Oh, Unified, Unified Flyers, Flyers Philippines. Oh, is this a military? Oh, Buffon. Oh, this beautiful. Is our group, Free Pride Group, Unified Flyers Philippines. Ah, so your birds are free flyers. Yeah, this is a member, a small one. Oh, sweet. From Hello. Bulacan. This is from Bulacan. Oh, from Bulacan. All right. Oh my God, there's your hyacinth. Yeah. Oh, guys, this is a hyacinth macaw. It is expensive. This thing is the most expensive thing ever. It's a million pesos, diba? Right? Oh my god, guys. I'm holding a hyacinth macaw. Oh my... Oh my gosh, I'm a little bit afraid. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh my gosh. This is Amazon parrot. Oh, uh, I like the Amazon. Yeah, this is Amazon. Oh my gosh. This is the Buffon macaw. Oh my gosh, I'm holding the Buffons now. Oh, wow. You guys are all so beautiful. And this is the blue and gold mango. Oh yeah. Guys, <laughs> there's so many. Okay, there we go. Guys, there are two, so many birds. There's an eclectic. Oh my ah, gosh, beautiful. The yeah. male eclectic. eclectic. Thank you. Bye guys. Bye guys. Oh my gosh. Wow. I love this hyacinth. This, uh, no. You can cut it here. I... Guys, look at how beautiful it is. You know why I'm scared? Because back when I had my African grey, when she puts her head down like this, she's gonna bite. So I that's the, no, that's the, no, the African grey. Oh. So the body language on different parrots are different. Yeah, this is the sweetest. This is the um, sweetest. Um, oh, I want one. It. Are you breeding them? Breeder, but not breeder. Ah, it's so beautiful. It's a cuddle bunny. Wow, look at that beak. May I pet your head? Oh, oh. how old? Three years old. Three years old. Gorgeous. RJ finds it beautiful. Can we have one? There are a million pesos. Oh my gosh, RJ's gonna have, hold it. Oh, it's so beautiful. It matches your outfit. <laughs> Ganda, no? Super. Wow, guys. You can cuddle him like a dog. You can like hug it. Wow. Cute. What's its name? Blue. His name. His name is Blue. Yeah, perfect. Perfect name. <laughs> guys, this vlog is gonna be an hour long. Step up. Cuddle it. He's a sweet. Maho. Oh, oh, so sweet. The oh, there it goes. <laughs> I would love to make your morning chop. Honestly, parrots are the bomb. That's all I gotta say. Guys, RJ and I are eating now. Lunch. I ran out of two batteries. <laughs> Filming. This is gonna be a super long vlog. But guys, mind blown by this place. RJ's still thinking about the marmosets. We can't believe they're selling those. As much as we would love to have them, it's a question of well, we know we could take care of them. We have, we also have the, we're financially ready to take care of marmosets, but it's also like whether or not we should, you know what I mean? It would be legal 
it would be helping keeping the species alive. They're endangered. But man, some of the animals they sell, seriously. Hyacinth macaw. RJ, you like the hyacinth? Yeah. Me too. One day we will get them. But I was nervous at first because like all of you bird owners know, like birds are weird. They, even though they love you, sometimes they bite. <laughs> like if you don't read their body language, you could get hurt. That, see the beak on that thing? That thing can open and like crack open like nuts, like hard nuts. That could do serious damage on your face if you don't know how to read the signs. What was scaring me was the hyacinth in the car was putting its head down and that is the body language of the Gaia or African Grey right when she's gonna bite. So like, she puts her head down like this and pow! She'll bite you like that. So I was freaking out. I'm like, don't put it near my face! With parrots, you, if you don't know a parrot, you shouldn't let it near your face. But it was okay because the owner knew his parrot was tame, wouldn't bite me. But that's why I was nervous. But seriously guys, what a majestic animal. What about that cockatoo, right? Wasn't it cute? You can withstand that screaming. Super noisy. <laughs> but not our neighbors. Yeah, our neighbors wouldn't. We probably would. Not the neighbors. RJ, say it again. See, RJ does this. He's actually really funny in real life. But he's so shy in camera. He was like, imagine you enter our house and we've got all kinds of animals. We have parrots, marmosets, we have like lizard on the floor, right? Sugar glider crawling all over your body. And then we say, Welcome to the animal kingdom <laughs> as soon as our guests enter enter the house. Wow guys, did you know there's a Philippine egg boards association? Wow, an egg a day is okay. I like that. Guys, we're back. Look at these African greys. Oh, you remind me of Ligaya. Hi there. Hi. Hello. Ooh, looks like whatever you guys are eating is healthy. Look at that chop. Oh. One day we'll have African Grace again. Look at all these sun conures. It's you guys I hear. Oh my gosh, guys, look at this chicken. Look at its legs. Why is it like. Where are its eyes? Oh, it's, it's sleeping. Look at its legs, guys. It looks like fat dinosaur legs. I have never seen anything like it. Have you guys? Wow. And then look at these cute chickens. Dong Tao from Vietnam. Dong Tao from Vietnam. Why is its feet like that? Guys, it's just naturally like this, this breed. What an interesting bird. Wow, that is the strangest thing ever. Do you want one? <laughs> RJ likes weird and different unique animals. Guys, RJ's in love <laughs> with this chicken. Imagine, guys, imagine RJ becomes a chicken enthusiast. <laughs> From dog enthusiast to chicken enthusiast. I love seeing him in love with animals. So, RJ, okay, let's make a tally of the animals RJ wants. He wants the duck with the fluffy hair, the, what else? The extra long necked chicken, that chicken, and the, the hamster without fur, <laughs> the skinny pig. Green wing macaw. Okay, so we're here watching the free flight. Um, show. Oh my gosh, guys. One of the macaws is way up there. <laughs> See it? <laughs> it's just freely resting. But the owners are totally confident in it being okay because, well, it's a free flight at birth. So here in the Philippines, there are several groups of parrot owners that free fly their birds. Like literally let them fly outside and they're all trained to come back. I, that's my dream. I, I would love to experience that one day. All right, guys, we're done. RJ, did you have fun? Yeah. That was so cool. Thank you guys for watching today's vlog. It's we, a long one. It was a, it's a long vlog. We met so many friends. Um, and yeah, so we'll definitely be back next year. And all the contacts we made here were pretty awesome. Guys, be sure to like this vlog if you enjoyed it. And hit that subscribe button. Join our Mabuhai squad. We will be your daily dose of positive vibes online. Regular dose. Positive vibes. Regular dose. Love you guys. Bye.